I had retarded jobs. Early on, one of my early jobs, I was Darth Vader. I wasn't the Darth Vader. I was a low-rent, white trash, teenage Darth Vader, which is the name of my next movie. See, my high school was run by the mob or the teachers union, you pick. And they would hire the juniors and seniors out to local businesses, and we'd get like a dollar an hour and five California public school credits per semester. And with my grades, I was like, five credits a semester? <laughs> I only have to work 300 semesters. <laughs> my counselor calls me one day and he goes, Titus, I got you a job. You're working at PJ's Ice Cream Parlor as Darth Vader. And I was 16, so I'm like, whoa, that sounds like two jobs. And dude, do you even know Darth Vader, bro? Lord of evil? I don't think he'd be scooping Rocky Road, do you? And I've been in drama two years, bro. How do I even play that character, right? All right, give me a second to do my process. Okay, so Darth Vader got fired after the Death Star blew up. You know, he took the rap, wasn't his fault, but he's a badass. Then he moved to Tatooine, which is kind of like the intergalactic Tulare. <laughs> Job, I got him addicted to crystal meth. He did some time for trafficking. Then when he got out, he moved into a halfway house, and I was trying to rebuild his life working at an ice cream parlor. <laughs> okay, I can do this. <laughs> I go to PJ's ice cream parlor. I walk in. The guy doesn't say anything to me except, you're hired! Because at 16, I was 6'2", and I fit the Darth Vader suit. <laughs> the job application was a tape measure, basically. You know why? You can't hire Hobbit Vader. That's why. <laughs> I go, what am I doing? He goes, you're going to be Darth Vader on the weekends at little kids' birthday parties. And even at 16, I was like, uh, did they run out of Charles Manson costumes? <laughs> Maybe a Silence of the Lambs mask? What up? They had spent $300 on the Darth Vader helmet. I looked exactly like Darth Vader. From here, up. <laughs> From here down, they had gone to the Salvation Army and purchased a black crushed velvet tuxedo. <laughs> Shiny black rain boots. And somebody had donated from their own home a black silk sheet. <laughs> for my cape, I had shoulder herpes for two years. <laughs> they had built a homemade Darth Vader panel out of blender parts and a light bright. Laugh all you want, but you hit Puree, it lit up. <laughs> the problem was the battery pack. It was four 9-volt batteries twisted together with wires, and when it lit up, it would shock me. <laughs> so between the tuxedo and this thing, I was like lounge singer Tourette's Darth Vader. <laughs> I go, what am I doing? Oh, guys, here's the plan. What you're gonna do on the weekends is when we're having the birthday party, you're gonna wait outside the curtain, and while the party's going on in the back room, when they get to the happy birthday song, you whip the curtain open and you reveal Darth Vader. I'm cool, I'm so stoked. But I'm 16, I don't sound like Darth Vader. Luke, I'm your father, bro. <laughs> I made that noise with my mouth. <laughs> Now, the first day we did this, and the last day we did this, <laughs> I'm ready, man. Little kid named Andy, turning six. I'm outside the curtain, I'm pumped up, man. I got my lightsaber, my boots are polished, my helmet is perfect, got my bow tie straight. <sighs> Happy birthday to Andy. Happy birthday to you, and I give it all I got, I go. <sighs> Happy birthday, Andy! <laughs> and this little kid did not look at me like, wow, Darth Vader! He looked at me, then looked at his mom like, who the fuck invited Darth Vader? <laughs> and I see him panic, so instinctively I reach out for him. Right, and he saw the movie, because he goes, ah! <laughs> At that 
point, the clown, who's my hype man, jumps in front of the kids and goes, don't worry, guys, it's only Darth Vader. Yeah, kids, relax, it's only Darth Vader. Jews, chill, it's just Hitler. <laughs> Two things that scare children more than anything are Darth Vader and clowns, and they're working together. <laughs> so the whole party comes apart, just kids going, ah! Here's why I got fired. While this melee is going on, I'm trying to help, but not thinking I'm in a Darth Vader outfit. In the middle of trying to help, all of a sudden the back of my head starts snapping forward like this because Andy's older brother, who's 11, has jumped on a chair behind me and started going, you ain't Darth Vader. You ain't really Darth Vader. Come on, Darth Vader. And I was in character. So I went, bah! and knocked his little ass off the chair. Who's not Darth Vader now, bitch? And that's how I got into show business! Yes! Yes!